so beautiful, but you know you look better with me. I can open up your eyes, show you something better to see. I can't get you out my head when I watch and repeat. I'm so far gone. I be thinking about the future, I can't stop seeing you. Why you bless me with this feeling that I don't know? Are we back on our Ask a Girlfriend segment? Okay. Should are you ready? I feel like I should light sage. Can no, I no, 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 no reason to start I'll, fires. No, okay. we can do that. All right, go ahead. Should we go 50 50 on the bills? <laughs> <laughs> Mom, man, I've been thinking, bro. Like, nah, bro, I'm gonna save some money by most stuff. So I feel like, you know, you should pay half the bills. Like, should it you pay half of our bills? Or should a woman pay half the bills? And this is normal circumstances. If your old lady makes four hundred thousand dollars a year, use common sense. Yeah. Um. No. <laughs> All the dudes was like, "Make this work. Make this work." Um. No. I've been a person that was in a marriage where we went half. And finances is one of the most common arguments that leads to resentment, that leads to ending relationships. Um, In fact, money has always been the culprit of a lot of things being broken down, disenfranchised, separated, divorced over everything. Um, I heard somewhere before, I can't remember who said it, but he said... um, you know, it's not a power thing. It stops the continuity of a man leading his house if he has to keep coming to you to produce. So if he just produces and he just takes care of everything, the leadership of his house continues on. But if he has to keep stopping to wait for your portion, you know, then the continuity or the, the household that he wants to have and create is always stifled. So if you are fortunate, I'm fortunate to be in a relationship with someone who since birth, you know, he just, he takes care of everything. He told me straight up, listen, I'm not saying you can't be independent. I'm not saying you can't have your own money. But what I am saying is, is that if you live with me, you're living with me in my house. I take care of all the bills. I, you know, you stack your money, you do whatever you want to do. And you're giving up that chunky bottom. <laughs> and at first stop. at first um or let me preface it this way i'm used to that because my grandfather took care of my grandma she was a housewife he took care of her up until his dying day um and that's all she knew she never worked a job um she gave him all his children under one house and that's just what i know so i've seen it done i know it can be done so what he said didn't scare me i wasn't like excuse me i'm not um indoctrinated into feminism that way um but what it did do is have me think about what is my contribution to the household so now it was like, okay, he's taking care of all the bills. I'm making this influx of money. What can I do? So now I'm building our investment portfolios, savings, when we want to go out on trips, um, you know, uh, having it to the point where he can retire, you know, and, and having this extra adult income really be what he would be able to do if he wasn't taking care of a whole household, if that makes sense. So it just had me think, back to a time like hey if my grandfather who did take care of his wife and children and if my grandma had like a little side business or if she had you know a little job where she was still home it didn't interrupt anything she had going on um what that would have done because being home or being a housewife it is a job making sure that your man's taking care of his children's taking care of making sure that everything is in order it helps him be a better man at the end of the day. So that is a job in itself, but going half on the bills as a woman, I don't know why women do this to themselves because they always say, Hey, you know, I want to help, you know, I'm, I'm a contributor or I'm a boss and I could add money and stuff like that. But you all want the same thing, which is to be taken care of a man, <laughs> take care of all the bills. You know, he takes care of you and your lifestyle. So 
just no, just don't go half on the bills. Let him lead. Let him take care of you. Trust him to take care of you. Trust that if something does happen, that he has a plan to get you guys back on track. I don't. And if he does not have said plan, (laughs) here's my suggestion to you ladies. If you are boss and you are strong and you are independent and stuff like that, when he drops the ball for a non-voluntary or voluntary reasons, let's just say he leaves you or let's just say he's incapacitated, Sick. sick or what have you, don't change up your lifestyle for it. And what I mean by that is now you go out there and make the same type of money that he was making and continue the continuity of your household. Or if you were getting money already, you should already be having that income. Yeah. And just be like, all right, well, let's figure out what we need to get you back on track. Yeah. And oh, they say your legs messed up six months. All right. Lay up. Nothing changes. Yeah. And, you know, recuperate, recuperate, do what you have to do. And still be there for your man. Still be cooking and cleaning. Still. Um, you know, sex them and everything. Nothing Chunky should change. Them. That's what that is the true nature of going half. Yeah. Going half is when you are fall. You are uh, you have fallen. I'm there to pick you back up, and I'm talking about in every aspect. Not the whole oh well, he lost his job and now we got to go live in a crack house. No, I'm talking about pick up the bills <laughs> and make sure that when he gets back on track, nothing changed because that's what he has to do. Regardless, the mm-hmm. world views him as having to have that responsibility, regardless of what's going on in life. He doesn't have a choice. You do. So because you can give up that chunky butter. Yeah. And I mean, I, back of your I give up the chunky butter like it's not even that it's religiously. It's just it's like breathing. Like I don't I've never understood the whole withholding sex. Yeah, I just never understood because I, I mean, the more I give the more I relax, <laughs> the more I, I have all the things. I, I, it just makes simple math to me. So, and I know a lot of women are going to say, oh, I mean, I don't, I'm not, I'm not letting no man do it, but then you lonely at night, mm. you know, and, and you, you twist and turn it at night. I know the twist and turn. Like, I know what it feels like to be thinking about the, wanting a guy that you want, but can't have. That's a, it's a horrible feeling. It's like, it's like hunger. It's like a, it's a hunger pain. Like, you know, you're holding out for a person or an idea that never comes around, yo. And that, that feeling is just a horrible feeling to have. So well, you could have came a- over here and gave oh, up the yeah. sweet sack of Julia. Or just don't, don't argue with it. The uh, main, what happened. a lot of y'all argue with the bills that you go half on. You say you're going to go half on the bills, but then within like month six, it's you don't have your half and then all of a sudden you short or, you know, or if he's short, that's another thing. What if he's short? You, you know I mean, just listen, just finances should be as simple as this. Yeah, a lot of it can be fixed by practicing modesty. Yeah. And figuring out yeah. why you have a $895 BMW car note. And yeah. it's like, then it's like, oh, you can't keep it up. He ain't a man. You should be able to drive a Toyota Yaris back and forth to work, but y'all are, that's a whole different video. We're going to, yeah. you know, that's just a question I wanted to ask her y'all real quick off the cuff. This is the type of video. If you have questions you want me to ask my old lady or something you trying to pass through parliament in your house, but you want me to ask it, I ask it for you and I'll fight for you. I'll fight for you. Things I'm not going to fight for threesomes. They're nasty. I don't think y'all should be doing that. That's disgusting. You don't know where this other person been at. And then it causes issues. Uh, another thing I'm not going to fight for is the polyamory. What do they call that? That's a hot, a hot Negro horn mess. It ain't nothing else. I was born or, in the great state of Virginia. That's not how it's, it's supposed to be. The, it's, it's basically them saying we're homesteading and farming, but it's just a bunch of people. Humping. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 We, they had a you thing know. for that. Back in the nineties, they called them like sex convents, like they just <laughs> the nudist and all that. Like that's what we call it on real sex HBO. Yeah. But that's that's what we're gonna do. We're having good discussions today. We're doing well. We're not doing drugs. We're not drinking alcohol. And we want y'all to do well and not do drugs and not drink alcohol. And a lot of things I say is practice modesty. Uh Boho Chic. I don't know what else to tell y'all, man. I'm out of five thousand. We don't do drugs. This was Diggy Down Brown, and I'm always out of town. <laughs> <laughs>